Welcome everyone. Hi, my name is Tammy and um, I am from Cool Culture and we're happy to have you on the call today. Today we're going to have our paint and stream um, event. You can use crayons or markers or whatever you have, color pencils at home. And this particular uh, artwork was made with marker. And here is an example of the same painting done in crayon. Let's begin. So you want to sketch lightly. Put a little dot in the center, a little above the center though. And then after you put your dot, you're going to draw a rectangle. So you're going to draw a rectangle. And again, like I said, you want to draw very lightly. Next, you want to create a semicircle above your rectangle. Then this is going to be our window. Find a center point on this horizontal line. And then you're going to draw diagonal lines to that point. Now we're ready to draw the wall of our room. So again, you're going to make a, another rectangle. around your window. Remember, you have your point there, and you're going to use that point as a guide to figure out your diagonal to separate the floor from the wall and the ceiling. So here is my dot, and I am going to lightly, you can use a ruler if you want, I'm going to find that diagonal. Find that diagonal. And it, once I get to this corner, I'm going to draw it in. And I'm going to try it over here. Find that, find that diagonal. We could actually make a frame or a picture on the wall using the same technique. So let's create a table. Using our vanishing point again, we create a line coming from our vanishing point. And that's a table in the room. Um, you might want to do a place setting, but I'm just going to go ahead and sketch the bowl first. What I did is I made kind of like a half moon and then I made like an oval on top of that half moon. The water pitcher, I'm going to create it inside of the basin. So maybe you want some shutters or to show that the window is open. So what I'm going to do is Again, kind of using that angle from the vanishing point, come out and then draw a vertical coming down there. And then again, for this, I'm going to go using that vanishing point. So now, um, we have our basic sketch, and now we're ready to add color. You could use regular Crayola crayons. Um, sometimes people get excited. On the market, they have these um, 
water soluble crayons as well. We can use that. So I am going to first, I'm gonna, I like a sunny sky. So I'm gonna put some clouds in my sky and I'm gonna use um, some, a white crayon. And of course you can't see it because it's white, but in a minute when I apply the watercolor, so you're going to see the uh, crayon resist the watercolor. So I'm going to um, now use marker and show you. I'm gonna work on the base in here. I'm just gonna put a little brown uh, border here and then maybe some yellow. And then I'm gonna get a, a paintbrush, wet the paintbrush. And when you wet it, I love what happens with marker. Notice that I'm blending colors. I'm using these watercolor crayons and I'm, I'm putting colors on top of each other. So I have some color there. And now I'm gonna take a brush. For blending, I like to use a larger brush and a rounded edge brush. And um, let's see what happens. Okay. So now I'm adding a little bit of watercolor on top of the crayon, watercolor crayon. And I like the way it's blending. I, I kind of mix it with this. All right, so now I'm gonna put my back wall, I think I wanna have it, let me see, orange this time. So go ahead and color in your, uh, your wall. Um, I also wanted to share with you, I found these pen pencils too. It's really great if you get a chance, once we are able to go back in stores, you can explore or you could order them online, I guess, but there's these pencils and they actually, um, I'll do my floor with this color. They're pencils and they draw like pencils, but they're actually ink. And the focal point of this piece of art is the, uh, the window and what's gonna be there. I, I think I wanna go ahead and finish the the, pulp, the bowl here um, with watercolor you always can get darker but you can't go lighter I love um, maybe the table could be uh, let's see have we done green no let's get some green and then maybe put some blue with the table as well. And you know what? I'm going right to my vanishing point because that's as far as your eye can see. And everything underneath that could be the ground. So if you could see far in the distance, that's one way to uh, break up your space in your view. Thank you everyone and um, be safe, take care, and we'll see you uh, next week. All right, bye for now.